This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. We're back. Now let's talk beef as Dwayne visits with Alyssa Harrison, Senior Vice President of Global Marketing for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Dwayne Tames joining you once again here on Ag AM in Kansas and a chance to catch up with Elisa Harrison with NCBA and uh, Global Marketing. And uh, Lisa, we talk about uh, the image of beef a lot of times with producers and what we're trying to convey to consumers is uh, not always the easiest task, but we continue to make strides in that direction. Yeah, we're, um, it, it's a, a continual challenge with today's consumers. And so as we stepped back this year and, and looked at how we can make the biggest impact in the marketplace, we started looking at what all of our assets were um, and looked at the brand equity that we have in Beef is What's for Dinner, uh, which turns 25 this year. And we were very pleased to find that it has strong equity, that people still remember it, they have fond memories of it, um, but more importantly, it inspires them to eat beef. Even those millennials, uh, today remember it. it it brings up memories of their mom's kitchen and for those who don't remember it when they hear it it still inspires them to eat beef so we wanted to make it relevant for today's consumers and to do that we needed to um, uh, really uh, create the brand as being something that's transparent um, that pr that promotes the people who produce the product as well as the attributes of the nutritional attributes of the product itself and of course the taste I mean beef you know beats everyone on taste uh, all the other protein choices and when we look at it, there's more choices of protein today. Protein is the big, you know, word today. Um, and we needed to make sure that we uh, that uh, our claim as the top protein, uh, you know, that we remain that. And so, in order to do that, we had to sort of refresh our, our brand, refresh the image, use all of the assets with the brand, the people behind it, the taste uh, of beef, which really kind of makes us unique and separates us from the other proteins. So, we've launched a, a brand new website, a digital platform that brings in the information of eight different platform eight different websites that has everything that the consumer or nutritionists or doctors would need to know today about beef including those people who are producing it and for the first time the beef promotion uh, program includes a very big emphasis on uh, the producers. And so we released a, a, an advertisement uh, that really showcases uh, p producers across the country and all segments of the industry about how beef is produced. Um, and then also you can go to the website and find out you know, shorter, more deeper dive um, videos about um, how beef is produced. And it's going uh, over very, very well. Uh, so far, you know, we expect this last quarter of the year to have reached uh, 20 million consumers with this new brand. And our goal is to reach 20 million consumers every quarter with new messages, um, uh, more edgy advertising that really puts the product as the star, the producer as the star, and the taste. And so, so far, uh, it seems to be working for us. We think about uh, information really being a king, if you will, whether that be information in the past about nutritional qualities, uh, but you referenced uh, more information about producers and, and how that product is getting to their table. Right. Um, you know, consumers today want to know uh, everything about everything they buy. It's not just beef. It's the, whether it's cars, socks, you know, what, whatever. And so, uh, which is good news for us because we have a fantastic story to tell about this, uh, the way we, we raise beef in a sustainable manner, um, uh, how we take care of our animals, how we ensure that it's the safest product in the world. So that that's a story that we've always been trying to tell for the last 25 years. Um, but what we need to do is make it a two-way conversation now. Um, the consumer wants, don't just talk at them, you have to talk with them. And that's what some of the digital platforms allow us to do, whether it's on Facebook, Facebook or Twitter or YouTube allows us to um, answer their questions, um, be a little bit um, edgier, um, but you know, which we have to be because there's a lot of people out there trying to promote a lot of food products, and so we have to be able to bust through that clutter. And we think that we've we've kind of hit uh, a really good strategy by relaunching the brand, um, making it more relevant to today's consumers. Well, certainly, beef, it is what's for dinner. Our thanks to Elisa for joining us from NCBA on Ag AM in Kansas. Uh, Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Dwayne. Come back after the break for this week's Kansas Farm Bureau update. This segment brought to you by the Arab Shrine Circus, coming to the Kansas Expo Center February 15th through the 18th. For ticket information, visit ArabShrineCircus.com. Ladies! 
Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, it's Shrine Circus time. Enjoy a weekend of thrills, chills, and tons of fun at the Kansas Expo Center February 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th. See lions and tigers, elephants, high-flying trapeze artists, and watch a man shot out of a cannon. And Johnny Rocket, everyone's favorite, is back. For more information, visit ArabShrineCircus.com. And be sure to thank our corporate sponsor, Security Benefit. The Arab Shrine Circus, don't you dare miss it.